In this video, we're going to be previewing and predicting the 2022 NBA All-Star Reserves. So let's have some fun. It has officially been announced a few days ago that the NBA All-Star starters were announced. So now the question remains, who will be the other All-Star players? For the Western Conference, the All-Star starters are Stephen Curry, John Morant, LeBron James, Andrew Wiggins, and reigning MVP of Nikola Jokic, and of course, once again, LeBron James will represent the West as the captain. And then when talking about the Eastern Conference, it has been announced that Trey Young, DeMar DeRozan, Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Joel Embiid of the 76ers will be the Eastern Conference starters, while Kevin Durant, once again on back-to-back -back years, is going to represent the Eastern Conference as a captain. So now we know the starters, but who's going to be the reserves? We're going to be talking about that in today's video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a very special episode of Easy Buckets. My name is Zoom and I make basketball videos every single day. So if you're new, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to not miss any of my upcoming videos. If you watched this video and you loved it, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. It would help with the channel a lot. Just a quick shout out to an Easy Gang member, CGM Sounds. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. You are absolutely phenomenal. Glad that you are a part of the journey. Of course, if you want to become an official Easy Gang member, check out the link down below for all the information. But without wasting any more time, let's predict the 2022 NBA All-Star Reserves. We're going to first start off with the Western Conference, and we're going to go in a one-by-one -one fashion. The first player is Chris Paul of the Phoenix Suns, and I believe he will represent the backcourt reserves for the Western Conference, no doubt about it. As of right now, the Phoenix Suns are the first seed in the Western Conference, and they're being led by Chris Paul. And with the Suns just coming back from their finals run, there is a big possibility that with Chris Paul's leadership, they could go right back to that conversation. This season, Chris Paul is averaging a double-double with 14 points per game and 10 assists. And with Chris Paul going back to his career high of 2 steals per game, there is no doubt in my mind that CP3 won't be an all-star reserve. Next up, we got Devin Booker of the Phoenix Suns, Chris Paul's partner, and of course the scoring leader of the Phoenix Suns. He no doubt is going to be an all-star starter as well. As I mentioned earlier, with the Suns being the first seed in the West, a very competitive conference, there are many talks in the league that fans wanted Devin Booker as the starting shooting guard. And because of the talks that D. Book got snubbed as a starter, there's no doubt in my mind he's going to be an all-star reserve for the Western Conference. Averaging about 25 points per game this season, he has led the Suns to the first seed in the West, alongside CP3. Next up, the front court. I got Luka Doncic as the next All-Star Reserve. And of course, Luka once again could always be in the conversation of an All-Star starter. But this season, with him kind of underplaying and struggling, Luka is going to be a guaranteed All-Star for sure, but just not in that starting lineup. So far this year, Luka is still doing Luka magic things, putting up MVP numbers. But the problem with Luka is that this season, he has been dealing with multiple injuries that has not made him available for most games for the Dallas Mavericks, which of course has made them drop in the Western Conference. So of course, this season is kind of a setback year. But with Luka averaging nearly a triple-double once again of 25 points, 9 rebounds, and 9 assists, the Dallas Mavericks are still in playoff contention with their young player running the team. The next All-Star Reserve is Rudy Gobert of the Utah Jazz, and I'm gonna say this right now, Rudy Gobert is so valuable for the Jazz and so valuable as an NBA All-Star. He's the stifling tower, he is one of the best rebounders and shot blockers in the league, and there are some conversations that he should have been starting over Andrew Wiggins in the Western Conference. Even though Rudy Gobert doesn't drop 20 plus points per game, he does so much more on the floor, and every single year, he has the possibility of winning the Defensive Player of the Year award. And this season, he's going to be back in that conversation again. The next reserve is Cat, Carl Anthony Towns of the Wolves, and this season, you can tell Cat is a totally different player. As of right now, the Wolves look like a completely new team. They have a new spark plug and are fighting for a consistent playoff spot, led by Cat, Anthony Edwards, and D'Angelo Russell, with Cat being the main player. Cat's been super healthy this year, averaging about 24 points, 9 boards, 4 assists, 1 steal, and 1 block, shooting efficiently over 50% from the field goal. And I do believe by the end of this season, they're going to be a team in the play-in tournament with the possibility of actually making the playoffs. 
Next up, we got Donovan Mitchell of the Utah Jazz. And I believe if Rudy Gobert makes the lineup, Donovan Mitchell definitely has to be in that conversation and join him as well. This year, Donovan Mitchell is the scoring leader for the Jazz and of course, is still keeping the Jazz competitive and one of the best teams in the Western Conference. And honestly, I do believe he could have been a potential starter if the Jazz would be the first seed in the Western Conference. Donovan Mitchell this year is putting up 25.5 points per game, five assists and shooting a career high of 45% from the field goal line. And I believe he'll be a valuable piece to whoever ends up drafting him. And the final Western Conference starter, I'm putting DeJounte Murray as my final reserve. And oh boy, this was a tough decision. There were so many other options, but I believe that DeJounte Murray deserved the spot. He's the only player in the NBA right now averaging 20 points per game, 9 assists, 9 rebounds, and 2 steals. And of course, even though the Spurs are in playoff contention, DeJounte Murray alone individually deserves to be an all-star. And I'm sure Greg Popovich believes this as well. We are seeing a lot of first-time all-stars this year, and DeJounte Murray is definitely in that conversation. Shifting over to the Eastern Conference, these are my picks for the All-Star Reserves. My first pick is James Harden of the Brooklyn Nets. And in my opinion, I thought James Harden would have been a competitive player to fight Trey Young for the starting lineup. But of course, Trey Young ended up getting it. So far this season, with the Brooklyn Nets not having Kyrie for all of their games, and of course Kevin Durant dealing with injuries, a lot of burden has been put on James Harden. And every single night with him healthy, Harden has simply been available and is simply putting up monster numbers. Of course, ever since being traded to Brooklyn, his scoring numbers have dropped, which is why he's not an all-star starter. But of course, with his assists, playmaking, and floor general abilities, he deserves a spot on the reserves for sure. The next reserve is LaMelo Ball of the Charlotte Hornets. And a fun fact for everybody out there, the NBA actually accidentally leaked that LaMelo Ball will be a first-time All-Star and an Eastern Conference reserve. So of course, this is not even a prediction. This is me just telling you guys some news that LaMelo Ball is going to be an official All-Star. LaMelo fans out there, smash that thumbs up button right now because LaMelo is going to be a first-time All-Star in his second year in the NBA. Amazing. The next reserve is Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics and there is some conversations right now that Jason Tatum could potentially be replacing Kevin Durant in their starting lineup just like last season. Despite the Boston Celtics struggling this year and of course not being as good as we thought they would be, Tatum alone is still putting up elite numbers and of course being considered as an all-star no matter how much they lose. So far in the month of January, he's averaging nearly 30 points per game, 8 rebounds, 5 assists and is simply doing whatever he can to keep the Boston Celtics afloat. Tatum is honestly a no-brainer as an all-star reserve for sure. Next up, we got Jimmy Butler of the Miami Heat. Right now, the Miami Heat are the first seed in the Eastern Conference, so of course, Jimmy Butler has to be recognized as their captain, their best player on the all-star team. So far this year, Jimmy Butler is averaging about 22 points per game, 6 rebounds, 6 assists, and 2 steals, leading the NBA, and is simply getting a lot of hype about becoming the MVP. Of course, these talks could become more realistic if Jimmy Butler was healthy because so far this season, he missed a lot of the Miami Heat's games, almost half. But with the Miami Heat being the first in the East, a Miami Heat player had to be represented, and of course with Bam Adebayo being injured more than Jimmy Butler, Jimmy Butler, in my opinion, is locked in as a reserve. The next frontcourt player, I'm putting Jared Allen of the Cleveland Cavaliers on this list. And honestly guys, Jared Allen 100% deserves to be an All-Star this year, a first-time All-Star. The other frontcourt player fighting for Jared Allen is DeMonte Sabonis, but this year with the Cavaliers being a totally different team, Jared Allen has to be recognized for all the work he does as their starting center. This year, he's averaging about 16 points per game, 11 rebounds, and 1.5 blocks. Very similar to Rudy Gobert numbers, and honestly, the Cavaliers look like a brand new team. Of course, it helps as well that the All-Star game this year is in Cleveland, so of course, it's great to see Jared Allen being recognized, and right now, he is a very likely frontcourt target as a reserve. Sticking with the conversation of the Cavaliers, Darius Garland is my next All-Star Reserve prediction and Darius Garland deserves to 100% be on the roster. There are some rumors that people believe Darius Garland should be the starting point guard over Trey Young because the Cavaliers right now are a top 4 seed in the Eastern Conference. They're currently ranked the 3rd as I'm making this video and it's because of Darius Garland. Colin Sexton got injured this year which meant that Darius Garland had to step up. Averaging about 20 points per game and 10 assists, he is the playmate Maker, the floor general and you can tell his confidence is at a whole another level being coached by JB Bakerstaff so of course Darius Garland in my opinion is locked in as an all-star reserve this year 
And my last all-star reserve is Zach Levine of the Bulls. My final choice was a hard one because there were a lot of Eastern Conference players that could have been chosen. But this season, the Bulls have immediately upgraded with Zach Levine being one of their best players and of course their secondary option behind DeMar DeRozan. And right now with Zach Levine averaging about 25 points per game, from a Bulls team that has not made the playoffs to now a top 2 seed in the Eastern Conference, Zach Levine has to be recognized for his work and leadership. Billy Donovan, their head coach, has given a lot of praise to Zach Levine for, of course, his sacrifice for letting DeMar DeRozan be the number one option and, of course, still being a leader in the locker rooms. And with Zach Levine getting better season after season, one day we're going to see Zach as a starter. So, yes, guys, this wraps up my video for today, talking about the NBA All-Star Reserves and predicting who I believe would become the All-Star Reserves. What's most important to me is I want to know your thoughts. Which of these players do you agree with and which of these players would you swap out with? Put your thoughts down in the comments below. But other than that, take it easy, God bless. And I'll see you all next time on Easy Buckets. Woo!